everyone. Oh, man, I'm back. It's good to be back. Let's just get right into what we're talking about today. Uh, Pokemon Home details have been revealed. Uh, and Pokemon fans aren't happy. And it seems to be for a very specific reason. And I, I almost think the outrage is a little justified. Um, now, you would figure that uh, the Pokemon company would you know, want to do right by Pokemon fans. After all of the backlash over Pokemon Sword and Shield, there's even been some backlash over the DLC, which uh, maybe there's something to it. Maybe it's unfounded. Um, that could be a conversation we have, but it, it is something that uh, you know, Pokemon fans are kind of on edge. Um, and they're kind of waiting for Game Freak and the Pokemon Company to do something uh, right or justifiable. And we know Pokemon Home was coming for a while. Pokemon Home is basically the replacement for Pokemon Bank. For those who don't know what Pokemon Bank is, um, just kind of the, the, the rough skinny of it is Pokemon Bank is where you put all your various Pokemon from prior Pokemon games. Uh, if you want to transfer them between games or trade them online and all of that stuff, you would use Pokemon Bank. And Pokemon Bank was a subscription service for $5 per game year um so pretty cheap and uh you know you can question if it should even cost anything to be honest it feels like it should just be an included service but uh for five bucks a year it's, it's pretty hard to complain uh it's like people who kind of justify hey look you know yes yeah, switches online isn't the greatest and doesn't have the most amount of features but it's only 20 dollars a year compared to 60 people justify the price point of switches online because it's just cheap in comparison to everyone else same kind of a pokemon bank it's cheap so people kind of just let it go pokemon home is the replacement for that pokemon home essentially does what pokemon bank does but it's just new it's a new version of it uh built for the new games now um i'm here in nintendo life that has all the details and all the graphs uh and basically how pokemon home works this is image here is you can transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, uh, into the bank. You can transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, into the bank. Uh, you, you can uh, transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Bank into the bank. And in the bank, in this case, I'm talking about is Pokemon Home. And eventually, in the future, you can't do it yet, you will be able to transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Home. It's not coming now uh, when it launches, but it'll be available later. But Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, Sword and Shield, and Pokemon Pokemon Bank day one will be able to be transferred into Pokemon Home. And obviously, um, compatible Pokemon that are part of the Pokedex or the National Dex or whatever uh, inside Sword and Shield can be transferred into there. So if you even if you don't buy the DLC, uh, technically, if you have some of those Pokemon that are older Pokemon that were added through the DLC, you could actually transfer them from Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, or your Pokemon Bank. Um, eventually Pokemon Go as well, into Sword and Shield without ever buying the DLC. So um, that is something there. You can also obviously trade for them and all that jazz. Pokemon Home is basically Pokemon Bank, just a new version. Uh, and and that's fine. Um, there's there's actually a free version of it and then like a, like a tiered pay system. And this is where things get really weird. And this is why people get mad. Now they're adding GTS, uh, which will let you specify which Pokemon you want to trade and which Pokemon you want to receive. Uh, this is something that isn't been part of Sword of Shield at all. So this is really cool. Uh, it's been part of Pokemon Bank for a bit. So again, Pokemon Home is kind of fixing all the issues with trades and, and transferring Pokemon between the current Pokemon games and future Pokemon games. And even letting you bring in your older Pokemon games as well from Bank. Um, but here's the thing. It has plans. It has a basic and a premium, and even the premium is a tiered system. Uh, but here is how the plans work. For basic, uh, you do not get the available to the, the ability to move Pokemon from Pokemon Bank. Basic is the free version, by the way. It's so like free to try, free to use, or whatever. Don't pay anything. So you can't move any of your old Pokemon from Pokemon Bank. You want to do that, you need the premium one. Uh, you can only deposit 30 Pokemon in the basic version, but 6,000 in the premium one. There's a really huge disparity in my opinion, but uh, it is what it is. Number of Pokemon that we placed in the Wonder Box at once is three, ten for premium. I don't know if that that that's necessarily too controversial. I think the number of Pokemon you can deposit and Pokemon Bank um, that 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 to me is a little weird. Um, number of Pokemon that can be placed in the GTS at once is one compared to three. Again, I don't think that's a big deal. Um, in order to get into a room and trade. Um, you could participate as basic, you could host and participate as premium. Um, you can't judge anything in basic, but you can in premium as well. Uh, some of this stuff isn't that big a deal to me. I think one to three, three to 10. I don't think that's too big of a deal. Uh, even the room, the room participate and host thing. I don't know that that's a huge deal, but, uh, there's other things that you can't move from bank for free. It, 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 you have to pay money to do that. 
You knew they were probably going to paywall that, but it is what it is. The question, obviously, is how much is the paywall? Well, according to Nintendo Live, Pokemon Home will be available on a free plan or a premium plan. The premium plan will cost $2.99 for a 30-day subscription, $4.99 for a 90-day description. Now, remember, it was $5 for Pokemon Bank for a year. So $5 for only 90 days or $15.99 for an annual subscription. So it's increasing by over three times the amount for a year. That's $4 less than Nintendo Switch Online. Let that sink in. Nintendo Switch Online, which affects multiple games on Nintendo Switch, is 20 bucks a year. The singular service for Pokemon that only affects Pokemon, $16 a year. Remember, it's essentially Pokemon Bank, a new version of it. Pokemon makes $5 a year. You can see why Pokemon fans are pretty upset. Now, we need to give Game Freak and the Pokemon Company a little credit. There is one silver lining in this. The first month of Pokemon Home Premium will be free. So, they are kind of giving you, Pokemon fans, a month to get all your Pokemon off Pokemon Bank and get it into Premium. The problem you're going to have, of course, is that you're only allowed to store 30 Pokemon if you drop down to Basic. So, like... If you store all these, you know, thousands or hundreds of Pokemon from Pokemon Bank into Poke Home, then you don't pay for premium. I don't know what happens. Um, I don't know if the Pokemon just go away. If they're locked and you can't access them, you can only access the first 30 you put in. I don't really know. So it's kind of this weird thing where, like, if you transfer all your stuff in that free month from Pokemon Bank, you're still going to have to pay for premium anyway to do anything with the Pokemon after that first month. So it's kind of... Yeah. They get you. They get you one way or another, basically. You're, if you take advantage of the free month to move your Pokemon from Pokemon Bank, you probably have more than 30 Pokemon to move, which means you're going to need to pay for premium after that month. So it's just it's just a, it's kind of a gotcha scheme. You know, hey, we're doing something nice, but you're still going to have to pay anyways. So, yeah, forget you. <laughs> um, and I don't believe you can transfer back into Pokemon Bank. So once they're transferred out of Pokemon Bank, they're just out of Pokemon Bank. So that that's another thing as well to consider. Um but you have to understand why this is kind of uh, kind of upsetting for Pokemon fans. And uh, as someone like me who, who doesn't have all these Pokemon to transfer because I haven't been playing all the games over the years, I feel you. I can still feel the pain. Because $16, that's, I mean, $4 less than Nintendo Switch Online service is just... It, 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 like here, $16 over the grand scheme of a year isn't that much. I mean, if we're being completely honest, it's what... Uh, a little over a dollar per month, like maybe a dollar fifty per month or less. Like it's not like it's a super expensive thing, and some people are going to be like, "Who really cares?" But it's about the principle of the fact that you're going from five dollars to sixteen, and sixteen is four dollars less than a service Nintendo provides that affects multiple games and adds more functionality, including all these free, you know, quote unquote free SNES and NES games. So we're kind of left in this conundrum where Pokemon Home is priced way out of what the marketplace has been set at five dollars and twenty dollars. It's not that high end, and it doesn't make any sense to me. Even if it was priced at $10, that's a 2x increase, which, again, doesn't sit right. It feels like Pokemon Home, which is Pokemon Bank, should just be $5. I think they're trying to justify it because now Pokemon games cost $60. So not only are you guys paying $20 extra dollars per game now compared to what you used to just to have Pokemon games basically in HD. That's kind of like the big thing. Um, so if you get both games, you're paying $40 extra per generation, which is the cost of what a third game would be on 3DS. Um, now you have to pay 3x the price for the same service? Mmm. Mmm. You can see why Pokemon fans are pretty outraged. And I'm, I'm right there with them because I think, personally, this should be a free service anyways. Um, they want to promote all this cross-connectivity across games. It should just be included with the purchase of the game. But it's not. Uh, it is cool that you are able to access it on mobile phones and um, you know do everything you can on mobile phones, the same on your Switch or whatever. And that makes sense since they're including Pokemon Go. But I still think it, it, it's still this. It's just not a bad look. At a time when the Pokemon Company and Game Freak could use some positive publicity, uh, again, it's just another dropping of the ball. And the thing is, I actually think the DLC plans for DLC on the whole instead of releasing new games is actually a positive for them. I think that's a good thing. I think that's the better direction than releasing you know, two more $60 games. But... <laughs> Again, because people are already mad at Sword and Shield, they found a way to criticize that as well. And this is just 
an easy criticism. It's way too expensive and they need to change the pricing structure, but they're not going to. And if you're going to stick with Pokemon long haul, you're going to be strong harmed into paying an extra 16 bucks a year. So this is um, unfortunate uh, what's happening to Pokemon. I, I think... You know, I think that this this kind of thing's been happening with Pokemon for quite some time, but it's really coming to head in this Switch generation with Pokemon that um, the Pokemon Company and Game Freak, I'm, I'm probably more on the Pokemon Company in this case, it's just greedy. Um, they're just super greedy, and they're milking you guys for every penny you have, and they just don't care. I, and I, I wonder if the success of Pokemon Go, which, by the way, I love Pokemon Go. I think it's a really good application, um, and I think Niantic has done a fantastic job updating it and, and making it better and better. It is it is very close to what was promised at the start now, um, and I think it's ultimately a really neat experience. I think what happened is they saw the money roll in in the billions, yes, billions with that game into their pockets, and they're like, hey, how else can we make more and more money off our fans? So they're doing it. Um, I'm wondering when they're going to just fully go microtransaction city in a mainline Pokemon game. How far away are we from them doing that? Or is Nintendo not going to let that happen? Maybe Nintendo's pull with the, the console games will be like, hey, you, you can't do that. So maybe Nintendo's blocking that from happening. I don't know. But they're finding other ways to nickel and dime, you guys. Um, over a 3x increase for the same service. Mm, I don't know about that. Even if, it, even if it's a massively improved interface and everything is just better. It does, I mean... 3x the price for the exact same service i yeah i'm not, I'm not thinking that's gonna fly very well but you know uh, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below because i i so desperately want some positivity behind pokemon um and once i finally get my hand on sword and shield because i am going to play it eventually here uh maybe i'll be able to provide a positive spin because maybe i end up really enjoying my time with the game as i have seen some others really enjoy their time with the game so maybe then when i can reflect back on it and be like well you know despite all the criticism honestly maybe i really enjoyed it and, and and that's something we can cross when i get to that point but uh for right now i think the pokemon company just needs some positivity and some good buzz maybe they need to drop a trailer for detective pikachu 2 now um since that was one thing that went really well for them of late so i don't know um i am nate jan thanks for tuning in subscribe for more content uh, it's great to be back and hey you know what um, why don't you hit that bell icon so you get notified of all future streams and videos. Uh, sorry for the absence over the last, you know, 12, 13 days or whatever, a couple weeks. Uh, been dealing with a lot of personal stuff. If you caught the stream a couple days ago, you know what some of that is. Uh, there's been some changes in some of that situation from, um, a few days back, but you know what? Uh, maybe we'll talk about that at another time. It's it, it, a lot of it's personal, so I'm not going to get into it in one of these videos. So you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your, what day is today? Wednesday. Enjoy your Wednesday. Enjoy your night. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.